Okay, so your ICOM lets you use an SD card, which I have here, a micro SD and a regular SD adapter. Pop that in. It'll read the SD card. Menu, set, SD card. First thing you want to do is go down to format it. Let it format. And then this way you can save all your settings in on your icon right into the SD card. So I'm going to click on save settings, new file, give it a name. Uh, let's just go for uh, la, 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 la. it's probably not going to let me use these characters, is it? Let's try 4, 15, 20, 20. See if it'll let me use dashes in a file name. Enter. Save file. Yes. So that's it. That quick. All the settings I had, all the settings I had in here, all my memory channels, recordings, everything I have is now written to the SD card. So if you go into menu, set, others, reset, all reset. Okay, next, are you sure? Yes. Boom. Icom resets, all resets, and there it is. Back to a stock Icom. Okay. There's no memory channels. There's nothing. They're all gone. Okay. So the magic is put your SD card back in. Okay. Go to menu, set, SD card, load setting, pick for the date, all. Yep. Restart the icon, power it off. One, two, three, power back on. There's my call sign comes up, powers up, all my memory channels are back. That quick. All my settings, filters, memory channels, power, everything is back. So it's a good thing to have the SD card in the icon of 7300, especially when you're just learning it. <laughs> so you could play around with some settings and save it to the SD card. And in case something gets screwed up, you can always uh, re bring it back.